Hi, my name is Heather the Heat Hardy, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. This is Amanda the Real Deal Serrano, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hi, I'm Courtney, and I'm Janita, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, uprising British heavyweight contender Daniel Dynamite DuBose sports a record 14 0, 13 coming by way of knockout, stands 6 foot 5, have a 78 inch arm reach, is on schedule and on par to face fellow undefeated countryman Joe Joyce, who also is undefeated and sports a record of 10 0, 9 by way of knockout. The difference is Joe Joyce is 34 years of age. Daniel Dubose is a very young man. He's 22 years of age. He's an orthodox fighter. And Daniel Dubose, interestingly, interestingly enough, recently came out and called out former WBC reigning heavyweight world champion Deontay the Bronze Mama Wilder in recent interviews. We saw his promoter, uh, Queensberry Promotions CEO Frank Warren, said that Daniel Dubose will uh, knock out Deontay Wilder. And that's a fight he wants to make immediately after Joe Joyce fight. Uh, Daniel DuBose then was asked about this in which Daniel DuBose said it's time for Deontay Wilder to be put out. It's time for him to be um, exited the sport. It's time to, you know, a changing of the guard. He says that, you know, um, I have to get rid of him. I'm going to knock him out. I'm going to break him down. I'm going to find a way to win. He says, and then I'm going to move on to the rest of the heavyweights in the division. So Daniel DuBose is under the mindset that he's going to knock out Deontay Wilder and, um, uh, uh, you know, a change in the guard is needed at this point in time. Uh, Daniel DuBose is very, very um, young. He's 22 years of age, as I stated. Let's just look what he said. He says, uh, quote, I've got all the tools. I got more tools than Deontay Wilder. I've got plenty of tools to use. I'll find a way to win and break him down. If he's the next step for me, I'm ready to take him out. He says, it's a time for a changing of the guard anyway, and we have to get rid of him. He's been a champion for a long time. This is what Daniel DuBolt had to say, right? Um, he's in the WBC ranking system, and Daniel DuBolt is trying to make a name for himself. Uh, he also, not too long ago, recently called out um, once beaten British heavyweight contender Dillian the Body Snatcher White. He says that he wanted to fight Dillian White to replace Dillian White as the mandatory WBC challenger for Deontay Wilder. This was prior to Deontay Wilder having his highly anticipated trilogy match with Tyson the Gypsy King Fury, in which we know Tyson Fury won the, won the fight via seventh round stoppage um, and is now the undefeated WBC British lineal heavyweight world champion. With that said, Frank Warren and Daniel uh, DeBose and uh, Tyson Fury all have a connection as they both uh, promoted by Frank Warren. So Frank Warren obviously wants to preserve that fight for later on down the road for a mega fight. So he wants to uh, put Daniel DuBose in the ring with Deontay Wilder. So uh, Daniel DuBose is, um, I, I'm high on Daniel DuBose. I like the skill set he presents. I like um, his approach to the sport and I like his commitment to the sport. He's dedicated. Uh, with that said, Daniel DuBose, yes, he has a lot of tools. Daniel DuBose can be very, very stiff and very, very slow. That won't bow well when you're dealing with Deontay Wilder. Now, we've seen Deontay Wilder lose to Tyson Fury, but like I always say, styles make fights. And just because Deontay Wilder lost to Tyson Fury don't mean he's going to lose to Daniel DuBose. Uh, it seems like the floodgates want to open and everybody wants to call out Deontay Wilder now to try and make a name off of it for themselves or for him. When he was reigning and before the Tyson Fury loss, there was none of this chatter, especially from the young, hung, hungry, upcoming fighters. Daniel DuBose, Joe Joyce, you know, um, these type of fighters. But now it seems like, you know, um, they feel like the levees broke and everybody wants to charge in. Uh, Daniel DuBose doesn't have the skill set at this point in time. What he does have on his side is, is youth, is age, right? Uh, Deontay Wilder is 34 years of age. Daniel DuBose is 12 years younger than Deontay Wilder. So he has age on his side. Uh, but with that said, the last thing to go in the sport of boxing is power. Daniel DuBose, like I said, doesn't have the slickest head movement. He can be stiff at times. Yes, he does have power. He doesn't have a reach advantage. He doesn't have an athletic speed advantage. And um, he, he's going to get knocked out. Daniel DuBose will get knocked out by Deontay Wilder. Um, he's just too young. 
just too green and don't have enough experience. And Deontay Wilder still has the hunger and the power, the youth. Uh, it goes in the favor of Dane DeBose, like I stated, but Deontay Wilder has a far bigger arm reach. He has the power. He's still quicker. He's more athletic than Daniel DuBose, and that won't bode well for him. So I think it's just far too early for Frank Warren to push this fight and for Daniel DuBose. He's supposed to believe that he could win every fight that he steps in the ring with. But this is just far too early. He needs to get rid of, uh, um, get over, get past the test in Joe Joyce and start making a name for himself with some of the heavyweight contenders uh, and some of the, the vets down there before he starts stepping up to the upper echelon, the, the Joshua's, Wilders, and Furies. Uh, before he start making, trying to make a name off himself with, with them and end up ruining his career, a la Michael Grant, when Michael Grant was pushed too fast to face Lennox Lewis, and that pretty much ended Michael, uh, Michael Grant's career, right? They uh, wanted to compare Michael Grant with Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis was knocked out by Oliver McCall and um, Haseem Rahman, and they just knew that Michael Grant, with all the power he had and the size, he was taller than Lennox Lewis. He was 6'8". You know, uh, he was a giant, he had power, he was sculpted, and everybody just knew Michael Grant was gonna be able to knock Lennox Lewis out. He went in there and ended up ruining his career. And this is the same situation that would take place with um, Daniel DuBose if he's placed in the ring with Deontay Wilder at this point in time. It's not gonna happen. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to new media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Hey, this is Jasmine. Thank you for watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, soy Jasmine. Gracias por ver Sangre Azul Deportes TV. Gracias.